Hey Stampers, Gator again and I've been having a play with another fun fold card oh, and I can't remember the lady's name it was on Pinterest I saw uh, a chart so I just followed the score lines I can't, oh my god something blue robot <laughs> I can't remember but I'll show you anyway it's called a double display card so I've gone and used these gorgeous papers again which are these wonderful things from Blue Land because it's got a snowy sceneries and stuff like that it's got the floral as well but it's mainly in set in winter um, so I've turned this into a Christmas card so I'm going to do another one as well just a simple white belly band you've got space on the back to write your message so let's take you don't have to have a belly band but I liked this one so and this opens up like this oh my goodness look at that how gorgeous look at all the glitz no stamping involved apart from the word Christmas <laughs> great stuff um, but I think this is absolutely beautiful it speaks for itself you've got these gorgeous birds the snow in the background it's just apps I love this paper these papers absolutely stunning I've added uh, three little stars, one there, one there, and one on the greeting. It was just a lot of layering, but well worth it. It's absolutely stunning. And you, make, you want to go one better, you could add something on these little, but it does, and it sits up absolutely beautifully. Oh my goodness, it's just so easy to make. I mean, this is, uh, it works out. Oh, do you know that? I didn't check that. When closed together, it works out six by four, so it should fit in a normal size envelope. Let me just grab one. I shall soon tell you. This should do because the envelopes. I get a five and seven eight card in one, so uh, yes, easy peasy. Look at that, straight into a normal size envelope. Perfect, 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 perfect. It's a little bit bulky, but if you're hand delivering, you've got no worries whatsoever. She says, trying to get that back on. I haven't made it too tight, I just, that's it. It just needs to go on all at the same time. And like I say, I mean, I've got plenty of space to either put another sentiment on the back and then write my message or can just leave it plain and write Merry Christmas myself um, and I put just the I only typed they were the Christmas bit the greetings was already on the card on the paper so I don't have another piece like this to go on the front so what I'm going to be doing is adding this gorgeous butterfly and may get some of the soft sea spray uh, cardstock and back that just and then attach that to my belly band oh it's absolutely gorgeous I love it so there's quite a lot it's mainly layering and putting it all together but if you look as well on the back I have glued extra panels on because I wanted full I didn't want the cut out bits I wanted to see two fold like it's like a gatefold display card isn't it but what a gorgeous 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 card you know me and my fun folds absolutely love them it takes uh you can make if you've got a piece of 12 by 12 card stock you can make two cards out of uh, one of these and like i say i've got an extra couple of panels on the front and a little extra for the belly band veil from a separate sheet Oh, let's get showing you all these pieces. It seems a lot, seems quite daunting, but it's not. <coughs> and you could, really speaking, you could cut, um, obviously you can't cut anything out of there, well you could if you've got little, uh, little punches, but you could cut items out of these, you know, so you're not waste. But believe it or not, where's my card stock? This is the card I bought today. I've got that left and that left. So I've got those four pieces and that piece. 
out of two sheets of the A4 for two cards. So it's not too bad really. And I got that from the, uh, the range today, 3 99 for 10 sheets, can't go wrong. Absolutely, can't. doesn't come off. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the, sorry about the noise. And the triple easel card uh, I did a couple of uh, nights back. Uh, I just loved that. I didn't get the same pale uh, silver this time I got because I wanted it all silver. There was two silver, two gold, two red, two green and two blue in the other packet I had. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. This is what the card is. You're going to need one piece at 6 by 12. And you're going to need one at 1.5 by 9.5. That's for your belly band. Uh, don't worry about We're going to put it in at one inch. And we're going to cut on the short side. We're going to cut from one to five and then seven to eleven. Flip it over and repeat. And then we're going to score at one to the cut lines. Two right through. Four right through. Five to the cut line, seven to the cut line, eight right through and ten right through and eleven to the cut line. So I'll just show you all that later. But these are the pieces you'll need. You'll need two of your layers at one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. You'll need two at one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. You'll need two at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and you'll need six at seven eighths of an inch by one and seven eighths. And the DSP is literally one eighth of an inch smaller. So wherever it says two, you'll need two at those, two at those, two at those, and six at those. And so it's one and three quarter by five and three quarter, one and three quarter by three quarter, three and three quarter, and three and three quarter squared, and three quarter by one and three quarter, just to go layering on top. So if I hold that up, you can pause, go and grab all your stuff, and we can do this together. So I'm just going to pop, oh, not that one, those two, because they're for the back of the card for you writing your message on to one side along with my belly band and my uh, piece for the front. We will do the cutting and scoring on that in a moment. I am just going to set to at layering these pieces up with all the DSP. So they are for those. Uh, beautiful papers, absolutely stunning. So with this one it's, it's the bench. So these are going to go on my main panels for the front. I'm going to put together that it, it's, it, you can't get the whole bench on obviously, but I've got this beautiful scenery of that gorgeous uh, window with the beautiful birds and this, oh, these gorgeous flowers. I'm just absolutely stunned by them. And they layer up pretty quick. I mean, if you don't want to add uh, designer series paper, you can add white cardstock and stamp on it. I saw other cards in the, with the same fold that people had used uh, stamp sets and coloured them in, and die cuts and stuff like that, but I was just all about this paper for me. It's absolutely stunning. So, just layer, flip a good rub and that's the first panel done you can fo fast forward if you want you don't want to watch me uh, do all these uh, paper layering and I've literally I like really small borders so hence the reason but like I'm saying if you've got some die cuts now if you were short on pennies you could die cut lots of those little images out first because you're only going to see that small border but I don't mind I love it look at the papers on the back even 
just stunning. And I have got so many of the pants from the stamp era. I want to use them up. I don't want them just sitting on a shelf until I make an album. Because I'm not always going to be in the mood to make albums. Let's give that scoot across. Oh, that's not too much gain. Come on. Two seconds. I'm going to keep it nice and even. That's better. That's better. I might have to pop a little splash more glue just under there. That's better. That's gripped it now. These are the inner panels, which you'll see on the inside. And this one beautiful petals on. but I'm going to be using this side I think they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful oh I don't know though yeah I am yeah <laughs> I was looking at it the wrong way plenty of glue and then we'll pop these on there Gorgeously stunning papers. Love them. And like I say, because it's got a wintered scene on there. Christmas card. You, you, this one you could turn into a thank you card even. Oh, I might just do that actually. Everyone loves a bit of glitz and glimmer, don't they? I've just basically made sure these were really just a little eighth of an inch border all around. And we've just got these tiny little pieces now to pop on. We've got six of those. There it is. I knew there was another one. <laughs> so I'm having the pattern side. I don't want just the panels. And all these bits were cut from papers that I'd already used on the other cards so they were they're not full pieces so I was using up scraps as well look at those tiny little borders they're just so adorable oh that one looks like it's coming off I can just squish that one down properly there we go that's better Make sure, see, if you don't squash them down, because of the glitter card, it will come up. So give it a good squish. There we go. Didn't on my other one, but there we go. Plenty of glue, because it does absorb quite a lot with the glitter card. If it oozes out, it means it's good. Literally, just a tiny little fraction. I may have cut that one a bit too big. Perfect. Whoops. Love it. Come on. Oops. Perfect. There we go. Two more and then we can do some cutting. And if, I'll show you something in a second as well, just before we do all the cutting. It looks like a step card, just doubled over. That's what it reminded me of when I was cutting it earlier. Whoops, I've been at. That one wants to come. It's so warm under these lamps, I think that's what it is. Why are you doing that now? You didn't do it earlier. Stop it. <laughs> Glue. 
lovely patterns. Even these little tiny pieces. So, that's better. Yay! Oh, let me just attach this now to there. Like I'm saying, you can add a sentiment on the back, a nice verse. Entirely up to you, because you've still got white panels down the side as well at the back to write on. But if you've got gorgeous papers like that, you can get away without stamping at all, and you've made an amazing card. Well, that's a bonus. It's an absolute bonus. I'm going to flip that one. I mean, you could have just left the back of the card and writ on that but I like the fact that there's uh, all those bits now where's my card gone there it is oh it's like a stepper card you know as if you've got one of those stepper cards that's all it reminded me of <laughs> I'm a weirdo aren't I bloody lovable weirdo definitely going to use that one as a greetings card so we will we'll do the belly band later as well just going to pop this on for a minute while we do a bit of cutting she says trying to get it in oh my eyesight I've got it right I am fetching in the stamping up trimmer scoot all my bits from under the lamp so they don't start peeling again. I like that one. <coughs> so I'm going by this side here, pushing it in at one. You can see that it's at five and one. Oh, I've got itchy feet. Oh, and I'm going to take my blade down to one. I'm just going to look. Are you going to press and you're going to cut from one to five, lift it up and then go from seven down to eleven. So one down to five, lift that up, fetch it down to seven and the blade wants to move and then cut down to eleven here and then take it out. What I like to do is just move it out the way and squash them back down because they can lift. Now it looks better. And then we're just going to flip that over, pop it back in at one. And this time we're going to go from 11 all the way up to seven. Gonna lift it up, take it down to five. And cut from five all the way back up to number one. I just like to smooth them out because it can ruffle the ends up. So I'm going to switch now from the trimmer to my scoreboard. Now you've got this. Oh, I can see the score line still. Oh, Mr. Boyce, you're a diamond. I know. Thank you so much. I How know. did you know I wanted a cup of coffee? I had a psychic. I had a <laughs> it was like, Give me a kiss and chat. <laughs> Love you, baby. They call me a septic peg. A <laughs> septic peg. Yeah. You mean Mystic Meg. Oh, <laughs> lots of like. So making sure you've got your paper squashed up to your board. Like I'm saying. We're going to go and uh, score just to the cut line at number one and down at the bottom. I can see the score line. I can see the groove. So, And then at two, you're going to go all the way through. At four, believe it or not, well, let's do it anyway. You're going to score all the way through. Uh... And at five, we're going to just to the cut line and down. You can flip this if you want to. And then at 
seven to the cut line. Eight all the way through. Ten all the way through. And then eleven just down to the cut line. So we've got to the cut line, straight through, straight through to the cut line, to the cut line, straight through, straight through to the cut line. Perfect. You can do it on your trimmer, but I find that if I'm using the score on the trimmer, it goes past and it looks ugly. So I've learnt my lesson. Oh, girls, I've just got to have a swig of this gorgeous coffee. Oh, I love it. So... That you can have this any way round you want now, it's entirely up to you. But I am going to start with my head's just gone to Pete Tongue. So the, the second score line is a valley, you can just score that like that. Don't worry about the little bits, we will sort them out in a minute. And this first score line, then is a mountain and then what we do then we just resist press this one and lift this one and down and reverse and then we can just so you've got that shape now and then just press that down and give it all a good burnish so, again, you can open this out now if you want. Second score line, a valley. This score line, a mountain. And then we just swap places with these. This one comes up, this one goes down. When it wants to play ball. It's because I creased it, but... We're going to crease them anyway, so. so get it ready. Do you see what I mean about a step card? Pop that up. And then again, you can just fold that over, fix that in. Give it a bit of finish. There we go. Perfect. Lined up in the middle. And if you want to flip it over, you can grab those score lines from there. Give them a good burnish. Now they're in their perfect place. Absolutely gorgeous. So, whilst it's on its back, I'm going to attach this panel. And it's literally the smallest border in the world. It just fits on there with a tiniest little white border all the way around. So our glue is back out. Perfect. Make sure you've got a tiny, tiny little fraction, top and bottom, side to side. So that is going to fit on there. Because the DSP, well, the layer is three and seven eighths, and this gap is four inches. Perfect. Now we can flip. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, see what I mean about the cuts? It, it always leaves a, like a little curly edge for me. I don't like that. So I always go over where I've uh, cut. Perfect. Now we know. Just pick your side now. You can have it that way or that way. But pick your side for whichever way you want round the way round you want it now, because you don't want to stick this in and then decide. Oh well, it's up, I want it the other way round. It doesn't matter, they're both exactly the same. Again, they're exactly the tiniest little border all the way around, but look at that. It's just gorgeous papers. Love it. 
love it plenty on you don't even have to have the layers you could uh, just do layer measurements with your DSP but I love that little edge of the silver going all the way around with these papers and those little parts off to the there 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 and there so these are going on the front so I've got to decide I've got to put that on there now so what I do instead of adding glue here I add the glue on there because I've got the smallest of borders I don't go to the edge That way I know when I come to put this piece on, I can just give myself a tiny little border at the back, at the bottom and at the front. I can see my score line there. Oh, Jesus. That's better. Small borders. If you want to do a quarter inch border then just take it down because this is a two inch gap by uh, six so you could have taken it down to five and three quarters by one and three quarters and then five and a half by one and a half for your DSP if you like big borders that is that way because we, we otherwise we would have glued these sections and it would have gone squashed on there and your card wouldn't have sat still so hence the reason so again I'm going to glue the card Steering away from that edge, and I've got my seat the right way. And again, I just pop that down, use my thumb and finger as a guide, and then just squash that in. So, when you come together now, oops. Oh, it's happened. It's right, isn't it? It's that. Oh, it's that one that's not going down. I wonder what was going on there. That's better. So there's that picture. That's that gorgeous bench taking shape. I wish I'd have gotten enough to do it a little bit wider, but then it wouldn't have fitted in the envelope then. So we've got our two panels. With the other one I had I cut up a postcard and that's how I was managed to keep the, the flow of the card inside I'll show you in a minute again let's keep everything lined up nice little border And you can add your little ones while you're here. They just go down there. Tiny little white border again. My little paper looks a little bit lob cutted there. And then one for the top. If you don't want a belly band, you could uh, tie a beautiful ribbon around it. That would be nice. I just love the layers. I think it's so pretty. So I've got another pretty plain one like that. So it's going up there. balance everything out perfect and I've got a 
floral one down here. So I'm pretty much trying to keep the pattern flowing. So I've got a floral one there, which I'm going to put there. So it's plain, 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 floral, plain, and then this one's floral, plain, floral. Method to me madness. Perfect. Have I had, oh no, I don't think I had. <laughs> Susan. Susan Blue Robot. Is it Robot or Robert? I don't know. Looked like Robot to me. So, in short. There we go. And then this my last little side panel. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely beautiful. Like I say, if you want to add little bits there, you'd have to cut them seven eighths by seven eighths and then three quarters by three quarters. But there it is, all come together absolutely beautifully. Love that. Oh, love that. I love it. So, I'm going to grab myself some scrap out of my bin. I've got a little scrap spin here. I keep all my bits in. And I think I've got a small piece of my saucy spray. If not, I shall cut up this back piece. I have half a card here. So, what I'll do now. I will just take this down to four and one eighth because that is definitely half of the card there. So that will go for a card front. And then, um, where's my little, there it is. So this piece is just short of two and a half. by just short of two and a half. So I do this at two and a half by two and a half. And just go over the line slightly. That should give me, oh yeah. if not, I will trim this one down. Oh. Tiny, but I'm going to take a fraction, a limited fraction off one side and off the other. I didn't cut much off though, did I? Small borders. Oh, do you know what I could do instead? Because I haven't got blue on it anywhere. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but put my scrap spin down. This piece we've got left. Just over two and a half. Oh, it's going to look gorgeous. Ooh, it's going to look gorgeous. And this is going to go on my belly button then. So, oh, look at that. Oh, that's a lot bigger. That's perfect then. Oh, my goodness. How gorgeous is that? Oh, love it. So I'm going to add lashings of glue on here. Oh, 
slashings. Come on, get it, get it on there. Whoa. Hurry up before it dries as well. <laughs> so, I'm going to pop that right in the centre. Oh, it zaps it up. Rub from the back as well. Oh, it's beautiful. That's not going nowhere. Now for our belly band. We're just gonna. If this is nine and a half by one and a half, you just wanna see where the cut line's been. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? Place this down. roughly in the centre of my card and just loosely I'm not putting no pressure on I'm not going to make sure it and then when it pull it back I'm going to push it so it's got a gap and the same with this side make sure they meet in the middle and push so I've got that gap if you know what I mean and because I don't want to uh, over glue. Right, I'm going to draw a little lap pencil line there, making sure that they're still a bit close together, perfect, and there's no overhang. Gorgeous. I'm going to lift that up, and then I'm just going to glue that section there. Making sure they're both right together. I haven't added too much glue, I haven't added too least of a glue. I've got a little bit oozing out the top, but it's not caught anywhere. And now this gorgeous piece is going to get glued on there. I'm going to just centralise that. How gorgeous is that? OMG. So, I'm going to do the same again. But just underneath. Lift that up gently. In fact, just glue it down a little bit. So when I put that back, I know I can glue in that section. Then, da -da 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 -da. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, and I'm just going to cover that line and that one as well. No one's ever going to know I've drawn lines there unless you watch this video. And there is our gorgeous belly band, and it slides up and down like a dream. Right, let me just pop this away. Gluey finger. Oh, swig, swig, swig. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see more of the band on this one, obviously, because that this one is quite a wide band. I don't mind. But look, see what I mean about the middle? There is the other bit of that scenery. And then I added just flourish, but that was a piece of postcard. I should have done that with this one really. Well, it was a piece of postcard, but the other side had the words greeting on it, but it would have had to go to that side, if you know what I mean. I think that is absolutely adorable. I love it. So, this one's going to be Season's Greeting for a Christmas card. I'm not sure. I'm just going to have a look. Now, it's still got a wintry feel to me so I've got the 
a lovely little piece of spare card here. Pop that to one side. And the words Merry Christmas. I think it's because I only wanted to have the Christmas, I used my marker pens. Oops. Oh, I think it won't go away. Right, I'll be two seconds. Oh, one draw. I'm going to use the stamp apparatus and you're thinking why it's just a stamp because I want to ink it several times and I want to make sure it's straight so oh it's the only thing isn't it I'm going to pop it in the middle anyway fingers crossed we might have a punch to punch it out so pick that up I'm going to grab my ink and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna ink that up this is the closest blue to them papers keep doing that Oh, I've got a little mark there now. Oh, gain again, a gainer. Turn it over. There's always two sides. Make sure that's off. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This I'm going to fetch it around this side. Nice, but I want to darken it. Oh, that is beautiful. One more time, I think, should do that. Perfect, and what a gorgeous colour when you've stamped it three times. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And the Merry Christmas comes from uh, the Merry Mistletoe set, which retired last year. Love it. Oh, so sorry about that. I was uh, so engrossed in doing the card. Didn't notice that the battery had run out. <laughs> I haven't gone any further though. So there's that beautiful Merry Christmas, uh, Christmas wishes. Look at the colours against there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to pop this away. I'm going to see what punches I've got. This one will fit. Darling little label punch. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, should we have a bit of glitter? No, come. <laughs> I was going to say I've got a mark on it, but I turned it over, didn't I? Oh, my goodness. That is absolutely beautiful. Love that. So... I'm going to see where that is going to go now. My belly band's a bit loose, but, but you don't want it mega tight. So I think I might just add that. I can't, oh, I can't add that little butterfly. It's too beautiful. I don't know where to put it. Oh my goodness. 
Ah, dilemma. I could actually add it on the back of the belly band, couldn't I? Yeah, I am. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> choose to sit the belly band right next to the card then. I'm just going to wipe that off. I just realised that I went all the way over to the edge. Oh, that's perfect. I don't know what was happening there. That is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Like I say, if you don't want a belly band, you don't have to have a belly band. I just decided to put one on. Um, you can, obviously. It works. I think that is absolutely beautiful. And it's not taking nothing away from that card. So I'm going to grab a few more of these beautiful stars. I'm going to put one right there in the corner. Of the, where the sentiment is. I'm going to have one right down here and another one just over here. Perfect. I love it. So cute. And again, like I say, it's going to fit in my envelope absolutely beautifully. Gorgeous. So that's the one we've just made together. This is the one I made earlier. I do love that long sentiment, but I think they are both just so gorgeous. So I'm going to open this one. Look at that, beautiful. Opens like a book, see? Absolutely gorgeous. And then it stands just like that. So when they take their belly band off, they can either have the butterfly showing or they can pop it round. Uh, yeah, your belly band even sits on top. Look, how fabulous is that? So there we go. Oh, I'd love a thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and this is your first day, first time on my channel, please do. Uh, don't forget the little bell as well. I post every single day. So come and see what I make tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Till next time. Bye.